Jake, I know you're no stranger to it, but how is it having your dad be your position coach now after being running backs coach the past couple of years? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's kind of always been on the team um, and been there to, to give me tips, whatever. But to have him there coaching me and, um, you know, fixing the you know, fundamentals and everything about practice, just having him there has been great. Um, it's been great just to, to be with him and uh, – I know, I know most of the time exactly what he's going to say or what, or what he's thinking. So, uh, you know, it's been, it's been fun. It's, a, it's not that much new, but there's, a, there's definitely some new things that we're doing um, offensively to try to get guys more open and, and uh, run the ball effectively. So it's, uh, it's been great. Jake, what's it been like having Zach Bailey on your line the past two years, and, and how versatile, how talented is he and able to play any position? Yeah, I mean, to be able to switch positions from year to year is uh, just – Shows how talented he is, but um, you know he's definitely that just steady, steady rock force. Um, you know, to put to put him in the best defense lineman and and tell him just to to handle them all game for the most part. He does a great job for us um, in the run game. It, it's run behind Zach. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna make a hole for you. You know, big guy and just really uh, he he's a guy that really cares about his teammates. Um, you know, he's one of the first guys to celebrate with the running backs when they score. Um, when I throw touchdowns, he's celebrating with me, so he's really unselfish. And that goes for all the linemen, but uh, him in particular, he's really unselfish guy, so it's been great to be a teammate with him. Do you expect your dad to remain quarterback's coach if, if Brian gets the offensive coordinator position? Is that your understanding of how it's going to look? And that's Coach Muschamp's decision. Um, I'm, just, I'm just here playing quarterback, so I'm not, I'm not sure. How important? Would that be to you? I mean, I'm assuming, I don't want to put words in your mouth, I'm assuming you'd like that though. I mean, obviously, you know, being my dad there, um, it, it's something that would be cool to have. Because uh, like I said, I mean, it's kind of on the same page all the time. But, um, you know, Coach McClendon's doing a great job and hopefully if we win, he'll stay. But um, like I said, that's Coach, Me, that's Coach Muschamp's uh, decision. In terms of the offensive coordinator position, how much thought process do you give to who they eventually hire in terms of how you and your skill set fit into what they do? And have you given any of that input to Coach Muschamp if he asked for it? Yeah, when I talked to Coach Muschamp after you know, the whole situation, and I was just like, you know, what are you thinking, Coach? Um, and he said, I want to find a find a, quarter, a coordinator that um, you know fits you best. I want you to be a better quarterback. I want to, want a guy who comes in and make makes you the best quarterback you can be. Um, and that's what he told me. And uh, you know, I believe in him 100% that he's going to do that. And um, I fully believe that Coach McClendon can be that guy with my, my dad being the quarterback coach. Um, but if it's somebody else, and, and they have a, you know, they can be great coaches too. So um, whoever Coach Muschamp hires to be the OC, I'm ready to go. Yeah, about three times a week. Um, me and the guy, me and the receivers, kind of there, and uh, you know, through through a little bit, just to stay fresh. Um, you never want to just stop throwing. Um, I definitely had a few days off just to relax and kind of get away from football. I think the guys all needed that. They came back refreshed and ready to go, and really, uh, really picked up everything fast and, and playing at a high level. Sort of along those same lines. How important was it for you to get away a little bit and decompress and not be?